She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. Welcome to Science Today. Today, science. Can the imagination of the now make the future? Does time travel exist? We'll answer that question yesterday. We have in the studio, with us now, renowned science fiction author, H.G. Wells. So, Wellsy, time travel, yay or nay? Nay! Are you sure? Yay! Okay. But how come you're here when you died in 1946? Um, uh... Unless you faked your own death, and you're an intern with a silly voice playing a prank, or you're a time traveller for the past. You got me. I'm a time traveller from the future. I'm here to warn humanity not to invent time travel. It just messes things up big time and makes everything way complicated. Imagine all the Back to the Future films and all the Terminator timelines had a baby and it went back in time to stop itself from being born on a leap year during daylight saving hours in a dream inside virtual reality in two separate boxes in a parallel universe. Like that, but more so. So what do we do? I mean, how did it happen? Apparently, the traveller warned humanity in such a convoluted way that for a while it looked like the excessive confusion put humanity off. But then... But then what? The fact the time traveller was there and showed up all meant the time travel had and could happen. So it is inevitable in a way. So all the way the the brumma da da was shiggity blue but diggity boo What do you mean? Well, it doesn't matter what I say now. The time traveller could divert the timeline by basically being a bit abusive, you idiot! Hey, that's not nice. Please leave. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. It was also discovered that prolonged exposure to the time travel vortex made the traveller incredibly sexually attractive. Bye-bye. Don't go. Tell me more. Well... There's not much to tell. Is that what they wear in the future? It really suits you. What are you doing with your hands? We haven't the time. Oh, show me your powerful machine. Oh, not again. I mean, okay. Again? You mean I'm not the first? Oh, no, no. It's always you. It's just this is getting too easy. I like a challenge. But you must know that we always end up together. Yes, I kid myself it might not work out, but it does. So do you want me to play hard to get? Problem is, if you do that, the us that clearly might not happen a bit might not happen at all, and it could be disastrous. So if I go to bed with you, it's the end of the universe? Well, not really. Oh, just say it is. It's been ages. 